the under consumption under consumption course everyone talking about under consumption under consumption trend do you remember in 2010s when minimalism was trending it was all about having one black t-shirt one white t-shirt maybe a striped t-shirt to jazz things up it was pretty much just having the essentials what you need maybe one cup one plate look that's a bit dramatic but you know what i'm saying minimalism was all about not having a lot of materialistic things and just getting by with the minimum with the minimum i can't even say it now minimalism was all about just having the essentials and that's it having a clear space to be able to think and process and have not a lot of clutter now in 2024 we have under consumption core one of my favorite trends on tiktok ever is the under consumption or like normal consumption life trend so i thought i might just show you my favorite little items to de-influence you from buying all these fancy new things all the time which isn't exactly like being a minimalist but it's kind of close to me under consumption core is just living a normal life So why is underconsumption core all of a sudden trending on TikTok? Well, I have a couple of thoughts on it. So what is underconsumption? Let's start with overconsumption, shall we? Overconsumption would be having 10 Stanley Cups in your cupboard collecting dust when you only really need one. Why would anyone actually need 30 to 40 to 50 of the same exact cup. Overconsumption is having 25 pairs of shoes when you only need, probably need 10. And maybe 10 still pushing it. Well, let's bring them out. Here's Eric Cartman. Yeah. Yeah. Overconsumption is when you have 50 blushes when you only grab two or three on a regular basis. I had an entire extra bedroom in my house just full of makeup and beauty products. And when I say full of makeup, it was full. It was everywhere. Drawers and drawers full of years and years worth of my entire makeup and beauty product collection. And I have a video on excessive restocks and organization videos that I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check that out. But overconsumption is pretty much much having too many things when you only need a few and so why is under consumption trending all of a sudden and so under consumption is just the opposite of over consumption I'm sure you don't have to be a genius to work that one out but what under consumption is is pretty much just having the essential items that you need to live instead of having 10 perfumes that you only wear one you only have one at a time you use that one until it runs out and I'm not surprised that this trend is trending. But I do have to say, under consumption core, the whole core thing kind of rubs me the wrong way. I don't know why everything has to be core or error or a vibe. Everything has to be a trend these days. But I think this trend was essentially inevitable. Because of inflation, the cost of living, everything is so expensive now, this trend does not surprise me at all. All people are living paycheck to paycheck more than ever these days. People are struggling to get by. People aren't thriving anymore. They are just surviving at this point and living within their means or below their means is pretty much essential so that we can have a little play money for the things we really want or for the holiday we really want to save up for because most of our generation isn't even saving up for a house anymore because that seems so far out of reach that people just want to have money to do nice things. So underconsumption was inevitable. And I think underconsumption just glamorizes normal life because people are kind of sick of looking up to all these influencers and celebrities that have flashy cars, tons of products, or their wardrobe is filled with the brim. People are just rebelling against that. And this happens every so often. People just rebel against what the normal trending thing is. It happens with everything. Worst sneaker of all time. You know, Panadunks. 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 <laughs> Everybody hates a Panadunks. Yeah, Panadunks. Okay, what is the worst sneaker of all time? Oh, that's a, okay. I, I genuinely think that Dunks, Panda Dunks, they're now becoming overrated and we need to cancel them. What Everybody hates pandas. No, I feel like everyone has them. I know, right? What is the worst sneaker of all time? 
worst sneak of all time have to be the, you already know which one it is. That's Everybody's what? wearing pandas. Pandas. Everybody hates pandas. Trends go in cycles and people are sick of looking up at influencers, seeing how many things they have and looking at how much little they have. And so instead of being angry about it, we're just going to romanticize normal living. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think other people can feel like this is a whole normal thing. They're not alone. It's normal to only have one shampoo and conditioner in the shower at a time. You don't need 20 million products of makeup when you only gravitate towards five. And I think people like to see under consumption videos just to feel a little bit normal. And there is nothing wrong with underconsumption. But I think there's a bit of a gray area between underconsumption and overconsumption. I think with overconsumption, depending on what you do or what your hobbies are, you might have an overconsumption of one thing. Let's say you're really into fashion, you're a fashion student or clothes are just your thing. You might have a lot of clothes compared to someone else. It just means that's what you like, that's why you have a lot. And I think it's like runners, people who love to run. Maybe they have five pairs of runners for different running styles or whatever. Or an artist who has a lot of paints and paintbrushes and everything like that. I don't think that's an overconsumption. I think that's just, you know, buying things for your hobbies. But I think we are sort of done glamorizing, having a lot of materialistic things. Because at the end of the day, materialistic things aren't going to bring you happiness. And so underconsumption is just to show you are living a normal life. You don't need all that stuff. Seeing someone spend $500 a week at Free People is not normal. Seeing girls be able to buy every single makeup product that hits the market is not normal. Seeing girls with sneaker collections of 50 plus pairs of sneakers that all look the same is not normal. Please do not let this app convince you that you are behind in life. Influencers have a job just like I have a nine to five and every single job has its perks and its downfalls. We cannot get lost in the envy and the jealousy and the comparison of wanting someone else's life. And it's just like de-influencing, the trend of de-influencing influences of products that you don't need. Underconsumption core is just normal living living within your means. I think it's a great trend. Don't get me wrong. I think it's something we should be proud of just living normal lives and living within our means because with inflation and everything like that, we can't afford to be having five cars or living above our means to look a certain part because looking rich and being rich is completely different things. And so this trend will eventually die down. No one is gonna wanna see a glamorous, normal life 24 seven, because as people, we like to look up to celebrities and influencers. And so that trend will come back around and people will start overconsumption again. And again, the cycle will continue with overconsumption. So I think for right now, this underconsumption core or normal life core, in my eyes, it's just normal living, will eventually die down and a new trend will come and something else will happen. And so these trends with all these core and error and vibes and whatever, it's just going through a cycle. That's all we're doing right now is cycling out the influences, de-influencing things, living normal lives and romanticizing that. That's all we're doing at this point. And so if you are on this trend and you have realized you have too many products and you're like, okay, we need to cut back. That is fantastic. And I hope it did show you a normal life of living and that we don't need the newest pair of shoes or the newest makeup product. I think that's great if it's shown you normal life and you don't need excessive amounts of products. But I do think at the end of the day, this trend will die down. People will get bored. Materialistic things will cut, pop back into your head and the cycle will continue. But I think with inflation, I think people have realized they just need to live within their means and save some money where they can. And I think that's a great thing. So that's my take on what underconsumption core is, AKA normal living. And I think this trend will eventually die down. So let me know your thoughts on underconsumption core, if you want to call it that. 
Let me know in the comments. I would love to know. And remember to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.